welcome back to this new video tutorial in learning microsoft excel and here in this video we are going to learn how to automatically shuffle data in excel by button click if you notice here a shuffle button is given and when i click on the shuffle button the data will get shuffled automatically like if you notice a customer here which is abc enterprises which is now in the row number nine and when i click on the shuffle button now the abc enterprises position has changed to row number seven without changing the data the data remains same but the position uh, row position will move up and down every time when i click on the shuffle button if you see here the data gets shuffled so in this video we are going to learn how we create this in excel and uh, for this we have to do macro recording so here i am closing this workbook and opening a new workbook where this uh, shuffling is not applied now so i am closing this workbook i am saving it and then i am opening a new workbook which is in my desktop so i am going to desktop now going to desktop and opening this auto shuffle data in excel this is a new workbook where there is no shuffling applied now i am opening this uh, workbook from here and here there is no button also and in this workbook i am going to show you how we can do automatic shuffling so for this first of all we need to create a serial number here by using formula so i am deleting the serial number that is already applied here we need to use this formula equal to row open bracket close bracket minus 2 this minus 2 i have given here because i have two extra row here before the starting of the serial number serial number is starting from row number three so there are two rows left that's why you need to subtract this to get the serial number one here now here you can see the serial number one is given simply drag this till the last row and we have 13 data here from 1 to 13 is given after giving the serial number here then here we need to create a helper column which is the sort column and in this sort column we need to use rand between formula so press equal to then type rand between formula here then in the bottom of the rand between give one comma and in the top of the rand between formula type the last serial number which is given here which is 13 here in this example close bracket hit enter then drag this formula down till the last row drag it down till the last row after doing this then you can make this column invisible this is a because this is a helper column so to make it invisible you can select it then go to the font color choose white color so that it will get hidden here after doing this then we need to now record a macro which will sort the table or sort the data so here i am going to developer menu then go to the record macro option and here the macro name is given by default is it is macro one you can change this also by giving a different name like here i am giving the name is auto uh, shuffle this is the macro name then click ok after starting recording the macro then select your data from from the heading to the last data and also select the helper column that was cre created on the j column which is hidden now then go to the data menu go to the sort option and here in this sort by we have to select the sort column that was created as a helper column and here we need to select smallest to largest which is selected by default so click ok after doing this click outside of the table anywhere then go to developer menu again and then click on stop recording now the macro has created if you go to the macros here you can see the auto shuffle macro has been added now you need to add a button here to add a button go to insert menu then go to the illustrations and go to shapes and here you can choose a shape then draw it over here which will create a button here then you can change the formatting of the shape by choosing a different color option from here 
here I'm selecting this color and here you can add text by right clicking then go to edit text and here you, you can give a name of the button which is shuffle then you can go to the home menu and increase the font size of this from here this way you can reduce the button size by dragging it over here in this way now the button is created after uh, creating a button then we have to link the macro or assign the macro here in the button so right click on the button then go to assign macro click on this auto shuffle macro then click ok after doing this when you click on this button your data now gets shuffled automatically if you click here you can see the data is moving up and down randomly if you notice this uh, distributor which is ABC Enterprises it is now in the 10th row number 10 but if you suffer it now it has gone to the row number 4 when you click on again it has it is in the row number 4 this time but when you click on more time it is now going to uh, row number 12 so every data is moving up and down every time it is, it is suffered and after doing this one more very important step is remaining which is to save this workbook as a macro enabled workbook because if we don't save this uh, workbook as a macro enabled then it will not work next time when we open the file so we need to open this file as a macro enabled and to save the file as macro enabled we have to go to the file menu then go to save as and here in the save as type we need to select excel macro enabled workbook then save now your file will be saved as a macro enabled i am closing it and here you can see two versions of the workbook is given one is normal and one is macro enabled in macro enabled you can see a different icon like the exclamation mark given here this is macro enabled you can identify this by also pointing the cursor here which says Microsoft Excel macro enable worksheet. So we need to now delete uh, this uh, normal workbook because in this normal workbook the automatic shuffling will not work. So you have to delete this and keep this macro enabled for the automatic shuffling to work. Here I am opening this uh, macro enabled workbook. Then I am showing you how the macro enable workbook is opened and here if the message is given you have to enable the macro by clicking on the enable content now when you click on shuffle button then here you can see the data gets shuffled automatically so in this way we can create automatical automatic shuffling of data in microsoft excel and this much for today's video if you are new in my channel i would like to request you to subscribe and press the notification bell icon and turn on all the notifications so that you will get similar kind of video updates in future once again thank you very much for watching if you like this video please press the like button and share this video to your family and friends who have interest in learning microsoft excel thanks for watching this video we will again meet in next video